the video of the day. Jada and Will at the red tables talking about the, the, the August situation. First off, why is Will at this? Why is Will here? Will should not be here. She, she said when, when August did his interview, she said that it did not happen. Why is there now an interview with her and Will? Make it make sense. So off get off gate, she's a liar. She she's a liar. She said it didn't happen. Will said he didn't know nothing. So if I find out both of them is lying, boy. Like I said, this is my wife, bro. And this shit happened. You either confirm or deny. If I find out you lied about what you say, it's it's a wrap. I wouldn't even if I was Will, I wouldn't even be here. But let's 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 get into it. Let's get into it, man. Yes, absolutely. For whatever reason. So what happened, Jada? Okay, so let's start with I guess about four and a half years ago. Yep. Started a I think it was about four and a half, four years ago. Um started a friendship with August. Mm -hmm. And we actually became really, really good friends. And it all started with... I could see the pain in his eyes. You know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Because for know? me, that was the thing. When I, when, um, when Aug first came around, he was, he was really, really sick. sick. He was really, you know? really sick, yeah. And the okay. outpouring for him from our family was uh, initially about his health. Yeah. And I mean, we found all those different resources, you know, to help pull him through. And from there, you know, you and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided. I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. Done. You. Yeah. <laughs> we Marriages have that, though. Yeah, have that. yeah, we basically, we broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time. And but still marry. Figure out how to make yourself happy, and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. Well, at that particular point in time, it was indefinite. Yeah, I really felt like we could be over. Yeah, know? no, and, we were over. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there... You know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement with August. And one thing I want to get clear about was clean up one of the things that was kind of swirling in the press about you giving permission, which is, uh, you know, the only person that could give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yeah. circumstance is myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But what... Okay. So Will's in the clear. He didn't give permission per se. They said that they was separate. They were separated. They said they said they were separated. Will felt like they wasn't gonna get back together, but as we see, they are back together. I need I need the answer to. Look at this man's face. Look at this man's face. He, you can see the pain in his eyes. Cause I know I feel like they had a conversation about this. And she said it didn't happen. I feel it. August was probably trying to communicate mm -hmm. because I could actually see how he would perceive it as permission because we were separated amicably. Yeah. And I think he also wanted to make it clear that he's not a homewrecker. Mm -hmm which he's not. I think, so, I mean, because this is your red table and you, like, brought yourself to the red table. I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> That's what... <laughs> yes. That's what I'm looking like. Yes. That's what I'm looking like. Absolutely. Entanglement? This is what we call it? And I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that 
you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. I would definitely say we did everything that we could to get away from each other, only to realize that that wasn't possible. So we come to the red table. So I'm in I'm in the Jada position right now. So okay. you know you during that time launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August. What do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. Yeah. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Yeah. I think that has a lot to do with my codependency, which is another thing that I had to learn to break in the cycle. Just that idea of needing to fix and being drawn to people that need help, whether it's your health or whether it's your addictions. Mm -hmm. There's something about that childhood trauma mm -hmm. um, that feels as though it can be fixed through fixing people mm -hmm. versus fixing me. Yeah. And I think that that whole process with all really showed me that mm -hmm. and taught me that. And I'm really grateful for that lesson. I feel like that husband, like I'm with you at the press conference. <laughs> I'm that husband, I'm with, now I gotta be with you at the press conference while you like tell the world uh, about your transgressions. <laughs> Like, I love, I love my baby. I'm gonna stand by my baby no matter what. Well, you know, I definitely. <laughs> Yo, I know, you know how hard that, how hard that is to hear that she said it's been, it, it was so long that she had felt good. She said that shit right in front of her husband. That shit, that's got like a, that's a shot to the soul. That hurt right there. I know he, like, he covering up with the jokes right now. I know this man is hurting right now. Definitely, I definitely understand mm -hmm. um, why it would look that way or feel that way, but I actually don't look at it as a transgression at all. Through that particular journey, I learned so much mm -hmm. about myself and was able to really confront a lot of emotional immaturity, mm -hmm. emotional insecurity, mm -hmm. and I was really able to do some really deep healing. Mm -hmm. You know, and as I came through and started to realize certain things about you and I, he decided to break all communication with me, right. which was totally understandable. Right. Um, and I let that so be. Broke it off. And hadn't talked to him since. Right. So it is a little weird that all this stuff is coming out now since this was. Yeah, because for me, several... this was years ago, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, so the fact that it's. Uh, coming up now, and I think it could feel weird for people that we're laughing and, and talking about it, but it happened so long ago, you know, and our experiences of working through it, fighting through it, talking through it, and therapizing right. through it. How I long ago could it really be? Friendship started weird. four and yeah. a half years ago. When I say it's been a huge that's not too long ago, and just what I had to confront and discover. Yeah you know, about myself, yeah. the ugly truths mm -hmm. and the beauty. Mm -hmm. So it was something that I felt like wasn't really ready to mm -hmm. be discussed because it hadn't been that mm -hmm. healing because he hasn't wanted to, you know, Aug and I haven't talked in so long. You know what I mean? Give us the time. So I don't know, this, this, this all seemed very strange, yeah. you know, but I'm just, I'm grateful for the journey that you and I have had together yeah. because I feel like there are a lot of couples that go through those periods yeah. and a lot of couples that have to separate and yeah. think it's over and, yeah. you know, the one thing I'll say about you and I is that there's never been secrets. Right. We came together uh, young and we were both broken in our own ways and to be able to make mistakes without the fear of losing your family is so critical. Yeah, it's the idea of any relationship and trying to get to deeper understanding of love is going to be forged in fire. Yeah. There's no way around it. Yeah. And I think that 
One of the things that I'm deeply grateful in this whole process between you and I is that we have really gotten to that new place yes. of unconditional love. Because I wasn't sure I was ever going to speak to you again. I know, I know. Yeah, like the fact that I'm speaking to you again is a, <laughs> is a miracle. Um, <laughs> I would agree. I would no, agree. No, but it ain't for the weak at heart. There's just oh certain Lord, things this, this that more, you have to I, go I through, I and it's more. like. And I wish, you know, I wish that wasn't the case. <laughs> I do. I Absolutely wish that absurd. wasn't the hey, case. I sure wish it could be all magic and mirrors. Yeah, you got to go through some to get the answers. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah, I'm more. just happy because I definitely I don't think I'm ready for more. You and I, I ain't ready for more. We never, ever, ever thought that. We would make yeah, it back. Yeah, yeah. There's a real power in the just knowing somebody's riding with you no matter what. Yeah. And you really can't know that until you go through, until some, through some stuff, you know? I don't want to go through this no more. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I'm going to get you back first. And then. You're going to get me back. I think you've got me back. <laughs> I think you. <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> okay, that might, that's probably true. Oh, you know, you got but, it back. Wait a um, minute. And I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay. Um, I'm giving you that petty <laughs> if that's what you want. <laughs> uh, um, but, you know, I will definitely say mm -hmm. that's just part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for life. life. <laughs> 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 uh, that's terrible. It's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just part of the journey. I told you the first year we were, were married, what you tell me? That I can love you through anything. And I didn't believe you. Yeah. If somebody looked through a crystal ball and said, this, 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 and this is going to happen, I'd be like, mm -hmm. no way. Yeah. Yes. So, basically, in short, social media makes, makes everything worse than what it seems. They took out the part of the entanglement, and they ran with that. They, they completely missed out everything else. Now, as you can see, they said they've been together 25 years. They had that little separation part where they include in the 25. I feel like there should be, like, that should, that's another story for another day. But the point is that, one, they stuck it out. I, mm, whew. This man Will said that he don't know if he was, he was about to ever speak to her again. That means she did. She might something. Something must have happened between them two. That mm. two. The fact that everybody's like that, like they are dragging that um entanglement thing. It sounds terrible, but they're like really dragging it. Like it sounds t bad. And three, the fact that this man came with her on this. That took. That take like. Guts that I don't got. I don't think I like. He said himself, I don't want to go through this again. I don't think I want to go through it the first time. Like, people be saying they want to go through, like, they they ready for marriage and all that type of shit. The shit that just, like, you can see in his face, bro. Like, that shit is not easy. You do not want to rush into some shit like that. And continuing, she still denied that they were together at one point. Like, I'm not going to let that go, though. She denied it at first. And now she's here confirming that it happened. And then they're saying it was so long ago, but it's not adding up because if your friendship was started four and a half years ago and this man is saying that, like, he was so in love and shit like that, like, there's no way that shit, like, it ended two or three years ago. Like, it had to have happened, like, recently. Like, I feel like oh, over a year it might have passed, but there's no way it could. There's no way it could just like, just go away though. I just thought I'm something not adding up here. Something is not adding up. I feel for you, brother. I feel for you. 